Hi! Welcome to Books Beauty Kendra. I'm Kendra and today I wanted to do a deep ocean kind of look. Before we start though, I'm sorry I've been MIA again. Mental health, not good. Really not good at the moment. So, let's hope it gets better. Okay, and I've also done my base. I went with creamy products to give that wet look that you would have under the ocean. Eyes are primed. Palette I'm going to go in with, because it is an ocean look, I'm going to go in with my Lua palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. This is 24 shades for the mermaid within. I'm going to go for mainly Maybe some of the blues, but mainly this tealy row in the middle, and then black. So if you have these colours at home, you can come along with me and try, or just get ready for your own day while I do this. I think it'd be nice. Okay. That's that. Okay. Okay, to start I'm going to go with a mixture of Lost at Sea and Catch Me, which are the two light teal and blue um, mattes. So a little bit of each. Tap off the excess and I'm going to put that in the crease. This is going to be like a really smoky eye. So we're going to go from light to dark. That's how I like to do it. And we hit off all the pigment. Of course we did. So, that's more brush. Little tap. That's better. And better. And just, yeah, swirls until that's nice and blended. Then we do the other side. So if I don't do the other side while I'm doing this side, I'm going to forget what I've done. That's just how it is. So windshield wiper movements. Kind of start and then blend it. Circular motions. That's a good start, that's a good start. Now, I'm going to tell you this now. Don't worry if it looks really bad. We're going to trust the process and we're going to blend all together at the end. So, trust yourself and wait for it to get messy. Okay. Then I'm going to go in... Oh, I didn't tell you what brush I used. I used a big fluffy brush just to put those two colours in. Now I'm going to go in this like kind of fluffy shader brush. This is the Spectrum A07. And I'm going to go in with C Nymph, which is this medium tealy colour. Because I like the teals for the sea. The generous helping of that one. Tap off excess and then I kind of just pat on this colour all over the lid. And a little bit in the crease. Doesn't matter too much if it's an, a little bit patchy on the lid because we will cover it up a bit. But in putting it all over, it should hopefully help the blend later. Got some more of Cenim, put it on the other eye. Some places swipe, most places pat to get the most colour payoff. That's better. Like I said, a little bit in the crease. 
And don't worry if it's looking messy. Then we're going to get... Um, what kind of brush do I want? I want a similar brush, but smaller. So this little guy, this is a Spectrum A13. And I'm going to go in with 332 meters, which is the dark teal. And we're going to just, you know, plop it on. And just kind of do it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to start at the lash line. Oh, I need my mirror closer. I'm going to start at the lash line. Go all the way across. And then slowly bring it up. So kind of starting to look like we've got the top, but it's nearly white. We're slowly getting darker, so we're going to the deep ocean. And I kind of look weird with just what I put that colour on. And then get some more. Ugh. Put that in a weird spot. And again, along the lash line, making sure you really get in between the lashes. So there's no skin colour peeking through. Little bit. see it come, kind of coming off. And up we go. messy. He's okay. Now I'm going to take I'm going to do, I think I might start blending a bit first. I'm going to take the fluffy brush again. This is a B06. I'm going to take Lost at Sea which was a light teal colour and Catch Me which was a light blue colour and we're just going to Blend a little bit around the edges. All the way up to the brow because honestly that's how I like it. And this colour all the way up. On the other side as well. Beautiful. Same brush. We're going to go in with the mid-tone teal, which was seen in. Take off the hairs that shouldn't be there on the brush. This is what happens when you have dogs. Or cats, I assume. Kind of go in between the lightest colours and that really deep teal. So it's kind of looking more blended. Much better. This side's not blended. This side is blended. And then the other eye. Again, take off the excess hairs and the excess product and go over this. Yeah. I 
Okay. Now, for the black. This is like uh, some Morphe brush, but it's like a tiny, tiny little shade of brush. Gonna go into Black Sea, which is just the black. A little bit. And then very carefully place it against the lash line. more like, just like literally a dab and then take off the excess that's how much you want and put it against the slash line so it's nice and smoky kind of looks like that very smoky very smoky now because we've got so much going on the top, we need to balance it out on the bottom. Ugh, knocking everything over. So I'm going to take a black pencil eyeliner. This is from Makeup Forever. This is the Aqua Resist Color Pencil in Graphite. Ooh, it twists up. That's cool. That's nice. And we just kind of go all in. This may look scary, it's not as scary as doing it on the top. So, we're just doing it on the bottom. If you are very talented and very brave, do it on the top line too, but I, I can't. Especially not when I've already got eyeshadow on. Can't do it. I had a tickles. It took us so much. Okay. On the other side. Doesn't matter too much if it gets in between the lashes. We're going to be blending it out with the deep colours. So again, taking the brush we had with the black on it. Dab into the black, take off the excess, and we're gonna smoke out the lower lash line a little bit. Just a little bit with this colour, not too much. Just enough that you can start to remember your scene days. Or your emo days, if you're still going through it, like I am. Other side, same thing. Okay, now to blend it out, we're going to go back with the A13, which is the short shader brush, and 332 meters, which is the deepest teal, and we're going to blend that out. Smoke it, if you will. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay. And lucky last step, I'm going to take a kind of fluff, uh, fluffy pencil brush, that's what I want, this one, which is the Spectrum A12, and I'm just going to take Lost at Sea, which is the lightest um, teal shade, and I'm going to just blend out the edges, because that's looking a bit harsh. Yes, side. A 
if you've gone too far up with the dark colors like I have, just blend it with this light color and it should kind of erase itself. So that's what, that's what we're looking like. It's looking pretty cool. Okay, lashes and brows are next. So I'll come back when those are done. So lash, oh, mascara and brows are on. I forgot to put this on before because I don't know, I was too busy doing eyeshadow to forget to remember to put on my pretty pretty sparkles because I cannot have a look. This is from Flower Nose. This is in Chinese 01 Diamond Star. This liquid shadow is like just glitter. Can you see the glitter? A little bit. Got pretty. So we're going to get some of this. And we're going to put it in the inner corner. Now this kind of feels funny. Like I don't entirely like how it feels. In terms of like it feels kind of burny. But you know what? It's pretty. So we're going to live with it. Maybe a little bit under the brow as well. Kind of like sea foam up the top. Yeah. That I like. That I really like. Yeah, okay. Now for lips. Funny enough, I don't have a lip liner that goes with this particular lip so we're just gonna we're just gonna put it on this is the fantasy cosmetica forgotten lipstick this is the color i think it goes beautifully with this eye so let's see i've not tried this one yet funny enough and i don't have any of the other colors so i'm gonna try this for the first time it's nice and Moisturized or oh, lip balmed. Let's try. Ah, oh, it's very creamy. Oh, <laughs> I look funny. Takes a couple swipes to get to full opacity, but that's not too bad. And then the top lip. That looks amazing. And this lipstick is really quite comfortable as well. Like, I don't know how well it's going to last. It feels very slippy. But it feels amazing on the lips, so... This is the final look. Of course, you can always do this in a different colour scheme because, like, I've done tealy blues and such. You could do browns, you could do pinks, greens, purples. I've just gone for underwater themes. So if you want to do a smoky eye of any other colour, this is just basic way to do it, really. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please comment below either ocean emoji or a mermaid emoji. I think that'd be good. And if you've made it this far, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all that jazz. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.